I have always wanted to make an X-Wing fly. Over a year ago, one of our old video producers, Christian, he wasn't on camera much, but he made a lot of the flight test videos. He bought this X-Wing to inspire us to make one fly, and I wanna do that. If you wanna check out what Christian's been working on, he's been the video producer behind Josh Scott's Memoirs of World War II. Definitely check out this channel. It is amazing content. I was looking at this the other day, and I noticed something. Check this out. It's like the same size and the same wing shape as our FT Goblin. So I thought if I take the wings, make two of them in an X pattern and make the nose longer, we basically have an X wing and just a few modifications, we're good to go. Now I've seen a lot of people who have tried to make an X wing before and There's been a lot of different approaches people have tried to solve some of the different design challenges that this configuration creates. One of the most successful approaches is a profile design where everything is two dimensional. Here's Adam Woodworth's design that flies really cool. And Rami RC made a beautifully detailed, beautifully flying version. But the difference for me is I have one week to both make this and make a video from it to get to you guys. So I have some design challenges to overcome. One is I'm basically making this into a biplane, but instead of two wings that are stacked like this, they're an X pattern. So the top wing will have dihedral. Dihedral is when you have upward deflection of the wings and it causes stability because when you turn, you still have upward lift here. But the bottom wing is gonna have anhedral. Anhedral is not as stable. So with those two, hopefully they're going to balance out. I've cut out two goblin plans and now I'm gonna build four wings to make an X. All of our planes are made out of Adam's Ready Board. It's the foam board that you can get at the dollar store. Ours is brown because we've worked with Adam's Ready Board to make a water resistant version. Uh, if you want the brown stuff, we do have that on our store. Whenever I am prototyping a new design, what I do is I go to all of our plans for the over 60 planes that we've already designed, and I look for planes that have similarities, and I use the elements of that plane so that I'm not starting completely from scratch. The other nice thing is that with all of our planes, we have free build videos. And even after building several of our planes, I still need to watch the build videos to make sure I'm putting it together right and in the right order. Now let's go ahead and test our motor direction. Now I gotta figure out how all these are gonna go together with me building a new fuselage. But that looks great. Rewatching Star Wars, I just realized something. They could have prevented Princess Leia's capture and prevented the destruction of Alderaan had the Rebels just used ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network that allows users galaxy-wide to protect themselves online from snooping, interference, and censorship. What I like most about it is it even prevents your internet service provider from affecting your internet connection like throttling your speed or blocking you from certain areas of the internet. When you're online shopping or transmitting Death Star plans, without a VPN, your credit card information is wide open to hackers. Everybody at least knows somebody who has had their information accessed. ExpressVPN helps prevent that by encrypting your internet connection. They are consistently faster than other VPN providers and they offer best in class encryption. They allow you to use the internet without restrictions and they have 24 seven customer support so you can get help when you need it. When you use our link in the description below, you can get three months free with a one year package and it's only $7 a month. They also have a 30 day money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. With the reality of today's galactic empire, watching everything that you do online, ExpressVPN is a great way to have peace of mind that your online presence is secure. Now let's go finish that X-Wing. In Illustrator, I adapted the plans so that they would be more X-Wing shaped and I cut those out on the laser. Now we'll see if it works and what better way to do it. 
put in some Star Wars tunes. I changed just a couple of minor things in the file and now it doesn't fit right and I don't know why because this is still sitting the same way why Boom! Got it! My question is, where do I put the motor? Because on the Goblin, the motor is straight in the back. Mm. You I want to make it look as close to the original as possible. Well, you're, you're a movie guy, dude. You need yeah. to make it look like a movie prop. Right. <laughs> if you make some kind kind of motor pod here, yeah, and a motor pod here. That's what you, Adam Woodworth did. Is just two, two like that. Yeah. If we do something like that, I think you should be good. It just it would be a goblin on steroids. This is awesome though, man. Thanks, man. It makes me want to build one. And while Jeremy's over there doing the X-Wing, I wanted to get involved. I'm a pretty big fan of Star Wars, and I do a lot of the chase footage here for FT. It's the best flat spin I think I've ever seen. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if we made the chase quad into a TIE fighter. So I've been over here on the line. I think I'm gonna go more with something like this, the up and down straight. That way it's not too much drag on the chase quad when I'm going through the air. Now I have to figure out how to try to make this guy look like that guy. So my thoughts here are to take some sort of carbon fiber rod like this and put my little TIE fighter wings on it. I, I just wanna do this light. Okay, and I'll just try to catch it like a baby. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So it's a little tail heavy, tail but heavy, I'm gonna push dry. from the back. <laughs> oh. Just a little on the nose. That was okay. Bad. That was better. Yeah. Oh, we got the catch? Yes. Will I need vertical stabilizers or will the X's? I don't think the X's will do anything for vertical stabilization. Yeah. Well, the, the cool what? thing is, is if you make the circles just mm -hmm. blow through, that's vertical stabilization right there. Because mm -hmm. it's scattered. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you can just make those dummies. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but it's kind of crazy at the shop today because we're moving to our new location at Edgewater Air yeah. Park, which is Ooh. awesome. So this is one of the last videos you will see from our old location. What that means for me is I gotta get this thing built and working because we're moving and things are just crazy. We're trying to crank out all the content so that you don't miss a week for you guys, but I gotta get cranking. I am stoked for how this is looking. I'm a little concerned about how it might fly. It's pretty heavy. And now I'm gonna go paint it. I'm not even gonna bother with trying to maiden this first and then paint it to see if it works. This is it. If it doesn't work, that's the end of the video because we're out of here. So I'm going to throw some paint on it real quick and we'll get it in the air. This is looking really cool. And I found some different colored tape. So I am not going to have to mask and paint the different colors on. I'm just going to use colored tape for all that good stuff. All right, man. I installed our Versicopter mounts on the bottom. I was thinking I would like to have these winglets level if we can actually 
just mount them so when I'm flying at that 30 okay. degree or 25 degree, that way it still looks like it's flying level yeah, yeah, yeah. even though my quad's tilted. I like it, man. Cool. Look at that, didn't that look good? Oh, dude, perfect, bro. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome, man. Yeah. My only concern is this. Is there anything except for hot glue keeping that onto the carbon fiber? Yay or nay? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a 60% chance that one will fall off. I I'm gonna go 50-50, dude. Now, I have to say this. It all depends on how he flies it. If I think he's gonna go where I think he's gonna go, to the infinity and beyond, I, I might have to agree with that. I think uh, one of them is gonna go to a galaxy far, far away. Pause the video right now, go into the comments below and tell us what you think is gonna happen. Is one of these wings going to rip off? All right, final step is to get this balanced out. It actually balances without a battery right on the front edge of the wing, which is great. So I'm gonna put this four cell Lumineer 1300 in it and mount it right so that its weight is right there. I'm thinking because yours is going to have far more likelihood of success. Okay. Take yours off, fly it around, get the feel for it. Okay, sounds good. And then we'll see if this thing flies. It's a little windy. I just got to remember to keep going forward and not yeah. sideways. Yeah, okay. we got a little bit of a headwind today, about 10 mile an hour. So All right. So you going straight FPV? Yeah, dude. This is Darth Vader testing out the new TIE Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Good luck, buddy. Oh, nice. Whoa! Dang, what happened there? Uh, so my, my assessment, <laughs> I'm watching the replay right here in my head. Uh, the wind <laughs> caught one of the uh, TIE fighter wing things and pushed, and pushed it, it into, into the prop. prop. Yeah. Well, we wanted to do that first because we thought that was going to be the longer <laughs> flight of the two. It still flies like a dream. Nice. There's only one thing left to do, guys. And Jeremy, it. I really appreciate you trusting me with your handiwork because this is one of the most beautiful X-Wings I've ever seen. That's right. May the force be with you guys. Hey. All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh, my Dude, what happened? I think it was lack of vertical stabilization. It was flying, it had good control, and then as soon as one side kicked out, there was just nothing to stop it. I don't think the tubes were enough. Yeah. It was actually flying. Let's go get the record, just have yeah. a look. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're Some, not terrible. Some minor glue globulations. I think yeah. this thing could be back in the air. And then I'm also thinking if we put like some kind of, I don't know what the solution is, but any kind of vertical stabilization. Literally about 10, 15 minutes of globbing, I think we could probably give it a second go. Okay, we got our vertical stabilizers. Okay. We got some holes in your quad and some structural. <laughs> <laughs> some barbecue skewers. Yes. All right, man. Right, here we go, dude, good luck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, geez. How is it? Easy on the yaw. It's gonna be a lot harder yeah, for the you to yaws, do. The yaws, it does not like. Oh jeez! <laughs> I have no control whatsoever. Now you're into the wind. Just keep facing that direction if you can. Oh, no, oh. it's doing whatever it wants. <laughs> kind of ease it down. All right, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, three feet, two feet. Disarm. Oh, yeah. Cool. Dude, great what, job. I'm, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run inside. I'm gonna grab a razor blade, and we're gonna cut out all the black parts. All right, and let's oh, see I what like happens. That. I don't want to be the Debbie Downer, but it's looking less and less like a TIE fighter. <laughs> <laughs> to the moon. Come to the dark side. Deploy the TIE fighters. Right. Way better, dude. How's it feel? Still kind of doing its thing. Not, you're going way faster than you were Jeez. last time. I think this will work, man. Good. All right. So should we launch the X-Wing? Let's do it. All right. You guys ready? Yep, Let's yep. do here, it. Here we go. Yeah, it just uh, went straight up and then right back around. I'm sorry, man. I, I, I don't know what happened. I think we have to go for it, guys. Yeah. Throw some glue on that bad boy. What we're thinking right now is we're gonna put a completely straight up and down traditional vertical stabilizer on the top of the fuselage, just like your typical airplane. I don't know if it's gonna fix the problem. Hopefully it doesn't spin around like it did last time, but we're gonna give it a shot. It came at right at you with a vengeance. <laughs> Review the footage and uh, what we learned is that we think that I like high speed stalled it because it has not only a lot of throw on the control surfaces, but it has four control surfaces. 
And so it went and I naturally pulled back and it was almost just too much control. And we think as soon as I hit that, it just like, so I'm gonna be a little bit softer. And so there's only one thing left to do. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Nice save! <laughs> oh! Here we go! Almost! Alright, I'm gonna keep I'm keeping my airspeed up. The X-Wing is flying, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. You did it, bro! <laughs> oh man. Whoa! Evasive maneuvers! <laughs> Look at that dude! dude this TIE fighter is not doing anything I wanted to do! <laughs> Keep it going. See that? That's weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe it! just I had no idea what it was doing for about a whole minute there. Here we go. <laughs> oh nice! All right, the battery's dead. Bring it in for a crash landing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All you have to do to land your X-Wing is cut power, it just kind of floats to the ground. You know what? But dude, it worked. We flew an X-Wing, that was yeah. a lot of fun. That was really cool, so let's go check out the wreckage. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude, look at that. We could fly it almost right now. The wing cracked right here. That was basically a vertical uh, landing. You just yeah, a little more battle damage. Let us know what you want to see us build next. This is a blast building things for you guys. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Awesome.